What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button so you can stay tuned with these videos. And today, uh, I'm finally excited. It's something I've been putting off for a while. Uh, it's been cold, 20s, 10, 15, things like that. I haven't been outside. You can see my yard is a disaster. Um, but today, we are working on the giant enclosed enclosure. Now, I've mentioned this a little bit. Um, but I really haven't gone into too much detail except in that Zeus video. So basically what I'm doing is I am making a huge enclosure for not only Zeus, but the ducks and future things. Um, it's going to be all the way around here, all the way over to here, all the way down past that tree and across. It'll be completely enclosed. That half will belong to Zeus. Um, this one quarter will be for other upgrades. And then this back half, you can already see this pond that's getting dug a while ago. This back half will be for the ducks. Um, I say ducks plural, I've got one right now. I had two, I lost one unfortunately, and she's been really lonely, it's been winter. I didn't wanna get ducklings um, because it's winter. And what she's in right now, while suitable, is not what I want her to be in. She's great, her name's Duct Tape. Um, we can walk over there. I haven't cleaned her pond out today. Again, it's on my list of things to do, but she will see. There she is now. And like I said, this is just her winter enclosure. Everything's super muddy. We had flooding the past few weeks. We've had snow, flooding, rain after rain, um, which is bad for the property and the animals, but great for what I'm doing today. Um, let's peek into the goats. There they are. They are doing great. Um, their shelter is plenty good for them in all this rain so they're happy to be out today um you can see zeus he's out today because it's about 63 degrees outside which is perfect and it lined up with my days off so here's what we're doing now i mentioned we had all that rain which means i can finally start digging the holes for all of the posts so first step is to do a string line now i didn't do that at first I just like, oh, let's just start putting these posts in. I've never done this before. And you can see they're really not straight. They're okay, but they're not straight. So took a step back, did some research, and I decided you need to put in a string line, which is what this is. So this is making my straight line. Um, there's tons of tutorials on this. That decides where my corner is. And then you can use some simple math and figure out if that is a, indeed square. If it is, that means you have a straight line. So I've done that for the whole thing. So now I am digging the post holes. I went ahead when I started this project last year, got an auger because in here in Carolina, South Carolina, we have red clay and it is the toughest stuff. Even with an auger, I struggle to dig holes. The good thing is, is we've had flooding for the past three weeks. The ground is super soft and I just started to dig and I was like, oh my gosh, this is so much easier. That's why I wanted to do it today before the summer hits, before it gets dry and it is too hard to dig in. It's not too hard, but it takes so much more effort. So I've got a nice day. Um, my goal is to get all the corners in and then this whole side and across today. So let's get started um, and let's start digging these holes. I'm even probably gonna throw the drone up and get some aero footage and you guys can see what we're working on. So it's been about 45 minutes 
and I have gotten a good bit done and it's because of my theory was right. So the ground was super soft, even softer than I thought. It used to take me about 15 to 20 minutes per hole and it would wear me out um, to dig the holes. I dug all five holes in about 45 minutes and it was super easy um, just because the ground is so wet. So let me show you what I've done so far. So dug, put that post, that post, and all three of those, all five of those have gone in. So I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and start concreting some of these in um, before I start that last side, make sure everything lines up. Last side's a little tricky because I have to do some limb removal with that tree, which is fine. But yeah, so like I said, it was super easy. I highly recommend if you have red clay, waiting till you've had a ton of rain. It's a little muddy, a little messier, but it is a lot easier in the long run. So the next step is concrete. Now you have two options. Um, regular concrete, which is about $2 cheaper bag, or fast setting quick creep. So I'm using the fast set just because I don't need a ton um, and it, like I said it dries a lot quicker and it's just easier to work with when setting posts. You can hear the goats in the background. They're very vocal like the duck so it makes it great for filming videos but um, I've only got like a bag and a half right now. I forgot to pick some more up when I got some of these posts today so I'm hoping a friend of mine is going to drop a bag off but I might have to go back out and get some more. Um, but I'm at least going to use these and get this this corner post and that corner post in because those are the most important. Once you get your corner post in, it's a lot easier to line things up. So I'm going to go ahead and set you guys up and start putting this concrete in. Now the way I'm going to do it basically, um, pour about half a bag in the hole. Make sure the post is straight and put it in the hole. And then I'm just going to soak it. That's what it says to do. It's the easiest way when setting posts. Um, and yeah, that's what I've done for all of these. And they are sturdy, they're not going anywhere. Um, I didn't use quite enough for these, so they're a little wobbly, but they're still plenty sturdy for what I'm doing. Um, and really, I'm not gonna be in this house more than another two years before we move and I get more land and we have more stuff to do. So I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of money and I might have to take these out to sell the house. So I don't want them too, too deep because that's gonna be a lot of work getting them out. So let's get these bags in the hole and start watering them down so this stuff can start setting. So since the ground is so saturated, I really didn't have to put water. There was so much water in the hole. I actually had to use more concrete than I wanted so that the water would be a right mix. So I got that in there. I got it um, kind of where I wanted. And then I used this right here, which is a post level to make sure it's straight both ways and it's not leaning, which is good. So now I just have to not bump it. Um, the alternative is to use wood to stake it, but I'm using fast set and it can dry in as little as 20 minutes, so we should be good there. I just gotta make sure not to bump it and keep checking the level. So now we're gonna do the next post. What is up guys? So it is the next day. You done? That's what I thought. And I had to finish up today because yesterday of course I was two bags of concrete short. Um, so let me show you what we've gotten done. So. All of these posts are now concreted in. So I got half of them done yesterday and I ran out of concrete and didn't have time to get more. So some of these are just now setting. But you can definitely get a better idea now as I trip over my line. Better idea of kind of the size this enclosure is going to be. I still have two more, three more posts to do down over there. But other than that, um, we're good to go on the external post. Now I'll have to do some more posts on the inside, um, but those aren't as vital. Um, so I got to give these about, I usually give them about two or three days to set, um, just to make sure they're really set in. Um, you can see these are some of the ones we did yesterday. Um, this is the corner. So it, it's 
pretty sturdy, but like I said, I like to have them really set in before I do anything. This one's setting up. Um, so once they are set, um, it starts to move a good bit quicker because I'll just take out the nail gun. I'll go around and do the top rail on all of the posts. So it'll go all the way around. And after that, I'm going to do a middle rail about four feet high. Um, and then once that's done, then I can go ahead and put all the fence pickets that'll be at the four foot height to the ground. So the whole bottom half of these posts will be solid to the ground so nothing can get out or see in. Um, and the top half will be wire like this. It won't be this wire, but it'll be wire like that. And then the top will be closed in also with some of it being shelter areas. But yeah, so like I said, this half, so basically if you walk in here, this is Zeus right now. So Zeus will actually get a little bit more space. So it'll move all the way to that post right there, all the way across and to the back. And then like I said before, this is the pond. So the ducks will get from the back half all the way until this post. So that, that whole area they'll have a shelter. And then this 16 by eight foot area will probably be two separate enclosures. So I have an eight by eight and an eight by eight there um, for turtles, tortoises, whatever I want to put there in the future. Um, it's going to get cold again, but now that the digging and the concreting is done, that really was the hard part. So I can get out here when it's cold and, and get that done. I'll just put my overalls on get my nail gun and just start nailing away. Um, obviously money is also a standpoint. I'm gonna do this over time because still a college student working full time, full time student, full time married. Um, so that's why I'm kind of doing this on a budget, but it's getting there. Um, the other thing I'm working on, I got a, these six foot four by fours. They're a little rotted. They're not rotted, but they're a little worn, um, but they're still good because they were treated. I got them from work. Uh, it's one of the great things about working from Lowe's. I can get some of this old stuff. Um, so I am working on a greenhouse and that's a video coming real quick um, because I want to start getting my seeds and growing a lot this year uh, and I think I'm going to put the greenhouse attached onto the backside right here. Um, actually, no, I think I'm going to go right here. It's a little more level and the sun rises over there and sets over there. So this would get a good bit of sun exposure. And also I can let animals go in here in the winter for a little bit more warmth. So that's kind of what's going on. Um, lots happening now. Um, yeah, it's, it's getting going. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and we will get this done. Hopefully I'll start working on this. Maybe, maybe next week I've got some weddings coming up and things like that. So I only get two days off a week. Um, and then I have, to, I have to spend time with my wife on some of those days with friends. So it's really not a lot of free time, um, but it's going, it's, it's, we're grinding out. Uh, I'm ready to get these videos popped out, but yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I keep saying, you don't want to miss this stuff and I'll see you guys later.